everybody today i'm cooking fried okra you can call it okra sauce liberian fried okra and i have my meat and my chicken here i'm going to season it it's already seasoned but i'm going to steam it and i'm going to fry my fish to go in the in the okra sauce i already blend my pepper and onions and garlic and this is my okra i have extra garlic and extra uh onion here and i have my tomato paste and a cube that's all you need your meat if you want to put fish you want to put anything else i got my meat my fish my okra tomato paste my seasoning and the oil that's all you need after my i fry my fish and my meat is halfway done i'm going to show you how to do the fry okra okay Okay, now I'm frying my okra. I put the oil, the oil got a little bit hot, and I put the okra there. And every now and then I'll be stirring it. Okay, you see the fried okra? You keep frying it until it turn like this. Fry just like this, then you're ready to put your, you're ready to put everything there. First of all, I'm gonna put my tomato there. I don't know why that tomato is enough, but I put my tomato. Now after your, you put your tomato in your okra, in your fried okra, then you put your meat and everything here. And then I put my onion and pepper that I blend, I put it in there. Then I put my maggot cube in there. It's coming. Then I put my maggot cube in there. And I stir it a little bit. I cover it, let it steam. Now you see my okra sauce, it's almost done, so I just added a fish there. And the fish, I'm gonna let the fish be there for about five minutes. Cover it five minutes, then I cut it off because I don't want the fish to break up. Now this is the finished product of the fried okra. It's ready, it's done. So this is how it looks. Take it off, put it on your rice and eat it.